everyone. Welcome to part two of this reading. If you missed part one, that was focused on the Divine Masculine. So we're now taking a look at where the Divine Feminine energy is at. I'll be using both of my decks here, Exposed to the Many Sides of the Divine Feminine, and my newest one, the Dark Mysteries Oracle 2. This is focused, of course, on the Divine Feminine's heart space, hidden secrets, all right? General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it what makes sense for you. So let's see how this lines up. So from part one, focused on the masculine, we did determine that the masculine really wants a do-over in a way. They've got many regrets over how things played out in the past. They're not ready to give up on the connection. They still feel very connected to you, Divine Feminine. And they're willing to fight for this relationship. They want you back. So the way it turned out, it seems that for those of you who are either not in contact or you haven't seen each other in a very long time, this masculine still see you as their ideal person. The one that they really do want to experience all of those incredible milestones that life can bring in love and romance. So... Divine Feminine, let's see. Where are you at on this journey? We have flexible. So that's good because if you're coming through with this flexible energy, Divine Feminine, there you're not so rigid in your way of thinking that maybe you would be open to at least talking to your masculine to be able to sit down and iron out the issues that you guys might have been facing. So that's a good thing. We do have caring. So there's still a part of your heart space that cares for your divine masculine, for sure. That's also a part of your overall vibe. That's who you are as a person. You're, you're caring. Look at this next card. We have sweet. Okay. So that's a part of what your masculine loves about you, that you're a very caring, sweet person. Let's grab one more. What else? Give me one more card, please. And we have Empowered. So you are not one to just settle for things in this partnership. I feel part of your journey towards self-awareness, Divine Feminine, is to find empowerment and fulfillment through your choices, your behaviors, your growth, your healing. So I'm feeling a very very uplifting vibe focused on the feminine. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards with some tarot. I'll be focusing on my yummy tarot deck here. So what we do know from part one, as I mentioned, a masculine who wants you back. And I'm very happy to see for those of you who would be open to a reconciliation that you're not exactly closed off to the idea. Six of Cups. So this is an indication that you've been thinking of your masculine. There's something about the memories that are still pulling at your heartstrings. And of course, the Six of Cups can represent a desire towards reunion. Ace of Wands. We've got the Lovers. Wow. We've got Four of Wands. These cards are amazing. And then we've got the Six of Swords. If you relate to this, and, you know, of course, we clearly see that it hasn't been 100% smooth sailing when it comes to the situation with your masculine. However, there is the opportunity for a new beginning. I do feel it's just a matter of time before you hear from your divine masculine. And I love how we've got the lover's card and the four of wands right next to each other. The keywords, as you can see, soulmates, twin flames. So it really depends on how you see your connection, whether you feel you're on a soulmate journey, whether you feel you're on a twin flame journey, they're both represented in this reading. And through a new beginning here with your masculine divine feminine, I feel that six of swords is quite telling. It's quite fitting for what's presenting itself here because obviously we can't travel back in time. We can't change what happened in the past. All you could do at this point is to leave that behind and focus more so on what the two of you can manifest in the future. Okay. 
Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands. I'm really happy to see that because this is giving you the clarity that you need, Divine Feminine, in order to empower yourself. And that literally is coming through. You're coming through as a very powerful individual here, regardless of what you've been through. Nine of Wands, the key word there is resilience. You've been through a lot on this journey with your masculine and on your own journey. However, this is telling us that no matter what life has handed you, you've just gotten stronger and more empowered as a result of what you have experienced. So even though you've been hurt, you've been wounded, this is you moving forward. This is you moving forward a lot stronger and a lot wiser than how you were before. And you've got the Nine of Cups. So there are particular wishes here that are wanting to manifest for you. And remember, through the part one reading for the masculine, there was the magician that presented itself. And of course, the magician is there to help manifest something in the 3D world, especially. And we also ended up getting the Nine of Cups for the Divine Masculine reading. So perhaps you guys are more on the same page without realizing that. But the opportunity to manifest this wish in the 3D, it certainly is presenting itself here. And it makes it a lot easier to do that because I feel if you resonate with this portion of the reading, that you and your masculine are actually on that same level. You guys are on the same page. And that certainly helps if the desire is to come back together. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some words here. Let's see what the feminine needs to express through this reading. So I'll be pulling from my Dark Mysteries Oracle 2. This one's focused on the feminine. Angels and spirit guides, please. For the collective representing the divine feminine energy for this reading. Look at this, okay? I had to love myself enough to walk away from you. And that's a part of that empowerment that we saw. You had to find this in order to put yourself first. Especially if your masculine didn't see you as a priority if obviously they didn't treat you right. Something clearly happened, okay? So I'm really happy to see that. We see the empowered reference, and I really feel it is picking up off of that same energy right there. Next card, I love you too. So I'm not surprised to see that. I feel that my feminines, you still have so much love in your heart space for your masculine. Look at this. I won't be taken advantage of anymore. It goes back to that empowerment. It goes back to you being a lot more stronger, wiser, and more powerful. And you're not going to be settling for anything less. So when your masculine actually reaches out, wanting to fix things, wanting to talk, wanting to address the issues, to make amends, they're going to find out real quick, Divine Feminine, that you're you're not going to just be a pushover or settle for anything less than what you deserve. Let's grab one more. I admit I'd take you back if you wanted to try again. So I'm going to go back to the part one cards from the masculine. And remember, this came through. I want you back. Okay. So clearly that's a part of their intention and my feminines that relate to this, it's basically telling us that for those of you who are open to it, at least that you would take your masculine back. All right. So let's go ahead and grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Luna tarot here. Angels and spirit guides, please. Focusing on the divine in here. Yes, I love it. Six of Pentacles. Equality. I really do feel you guys are on the same level. You're, you're, you see things from a very similar perspective at this point. And it's also telling us that you guys are going to be able to meet each other in the middle. You know, one person isn't going to have to work harder than the other to make sure that the relationship thrives and grows this time. 
We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel perhaps on your part, Divine Feminine, or even the masculine, that you guys want to take things slow this time. You're not wanting to rush into things. You're wanting to do things the right way. The Hierophant. Okay, so there's a spiritual lesson tied into this whole experience with your masculine. And I really do feel here that this is full commitment that they are bringing towards you. And I'm not surprised to see the Eight of Cups, you know, the, the walking away reference. That was literally the first card that came through. I had to love myself enough to walk away from you. That was a part of the experience. That was a part of the journey. You needed to do that for yourself, Divine Feminine. So that's quite fitting. I love how these cards are presenting itself, okay? So we do have the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and then the Six of Swords. So what this is telling us is that when things might have fallen apart between you and your masculine, it, it really did create this heavy energy, like a, this heavy, intense burden that you've been carrying around with you, Divine Feminine. And you put that Six of Swords next to that, and this is an indication that part of your growth, part of your healing, is that you've let that go and you're transitioning away from that heaviness. It's no longer a burden for you. It is a lesson at this point. So that's good. Let's see what else. Yes, love it. Ace of Wands. So there's a lot of room here to grow and to learn and to start again. Yep. So it's quite positive the way it's coming through. Teamwork, it, that's what it comes down to ultimately. You guys working together in order to make this work. Okay, so that right there shows us that that's exactly what's needed in order for this partnership to make it. You guys have to be on the same page, which I feel you are, and work together to ensure that the partnership has what it takes to go the distance this time. Yep. Let's grab one more here. Oh, wow. And we end with the energy of the sun, which of course represents a very happy, positive experience and outcome. So Divine Feminine, if you're listening to this, I really do feel there's a part of your heart space that is open to accepting your masculine back into your life. Has it been an easy journey? Absolutely not. Because just based off of what came through in part one, focused on the masculine reading, there were some challenges there. Could it have been infidelity? Could it have been trust issues, third parties, or some other challenge that you guys had to deal with? It could have created a separation more than likely, or certainly some tension in the partnership. I feel you've both grown during this time apart. You've both learned particular lessons that needed to be learned, and things are coming back around for this relationship. Whether you see this person as your soulmate, whether you see them as your twin flame, I feel there's a chance at happiness for both types of connections. And what better way to end this reading than with the energy of the sun? It is joy. It is success when it comes to this partnership. A very positive outcome, as I've mentioned. So even though you might have shed some tears over this connection, even though things might have fallen apart at one point in time, I feel there's the opportunity to rebuild and to grow and to find happiness once again in this partnership. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. Hopefully, through part one and part two of this reading, there was something in it that help you out when it comes to the connection and maybe giving you hope that this is still a workable situation, that there is still a chance at a real 3D reconciliation here. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are interested in your own personal reading, that info is down below, as well as the links to the decks that you see here. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.